Hi, I'm Kieran Taylor, Head of Marketing for Broadcom's Enterprise Software Division. I'm here today with Tim Dieppe, our Head of NetOps Product Management. Tim, thanks for joining us today. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do for Broadcom? We help customers make sure that the networks are reliable and stay 24-7 uh, up and running. Okay. So when I read about networks, one of the words I see quite often is edge. Edge computing, edge distribution, et cetera. What, what, what's meant by the edge? What's happening? Yeah, the, the enterprise edge, uh, edge networks have become very important and that has to do with the digital transformation that's been happening globally with uh, all kinds of companies for the last two decades. And what happens is with cloud networking and more recently with remote workers, mm -hmm. um, it's become so that the lot more traffic is actually going outside the network, you know, getting past the edge into the outside world. And with that, the heightened security uh, issues and concerns, threats, uh, vulnerabilities have really increased for the enterprise. So in the old days, I don't know, uh, given remote access would all be to a central point? Yes, yeah, and in the old days, remote access uh, is only lim limited to you know, a set of employees in the companies. Now, uh, almost every employee is working from home, either full-time or hybrid or part-time. Okay. So, um, and then you think about the 5G world that we're moving towards with autonomous vehicles, uh, remote medicine, all of these are remote too, and all of these will, uh, go through the internet and come back to the enterprise, whether it's a hospital mm -hmm. or a manufacturing facility through the edge network. I see, so every one of those connections has to start at an edge somewhere, right? Right, right exactly. Okay, so what type of challenges does that introduce for an IT or a security team? Yeah, so a couple of challenges. One, the edge network has to be reliable. You have to make sure that it's up and running, it's resilient, it's 5.9. At the same time, you also have to implement uh, security functionalities to make sure that it's blocking uh, threats and, and uh, attacks from the outside world. So one of the great things about working at Broadcom is we have an enormous portfolio here, right? From semiconductor solutions to infrastructure software. We've got a lot of technology that plays in the networking space. Um, when we think about the edge, as, you, as you've described it, What's, what's unique about Broadcom Software's approach? Yeah, actually we have two very important building blocks that, uh, that can help the enterprise secure, protect the edge. And one is uh, what we call Secure Web Gateway, mm -hmm. uh, which is the acronym is SWIG. And these are security functionalities that is deployed at the edge, either to block traffic, uh, to filter, to monitor, and uh, so a number of things it, it does really to protect the edge. Mm -hmm. The other part is we have a solution called DX NetApps, which is meant to make sure that the networks at the edge are functioning properly, mm -hmm. that's always up, that is uh, staying resilient and reliable. Mm -hmm. So the combination of these two solutions really help to make sure that the edge networks are functioning properly. That secure web gateway, is that the technology we got via Symantec? Yes. It is, okay. And so, can I think of those as network devices? Are they monitored like any other network device? Absolutely. I, I like to think SWIGs just like, are just like routers and switches. Mm -hmm. If you think about uh, routers and switches, they're made up of interfaces, compute, memory, mm. and then they have applications like routing and switching. Mm. Uh, if you look at SWIG, they are made up of the same building blocks. They have compute, they have memory, they have interfaces, and it just so happens they, they don't route, mm -hmm. but they secure. Okay, so I've got this hyper-distributed world, a lot of you know people or even devices, like you said, cars, automobiles, accessing the network from the edge. And so I need to make sure that those connections are secure and reliable. Do you see SWIG and you know, network monitoring coming together? Yes, actually, I, I, I think that there's a real synergy between um, network monitoring or what we like to call network observability, uh, moving over to 
uh, include SWIG as part of the ecosystem of network devices uh, because of the same needs and problems. Now, if you look at SWIG, they are dealing with of uh, operational challenges, like how to manage alarms, how to route tickets to the right person, how to troubleshoot. These are the problems that in, in the traditional networking space, we solved, you know, for, you know, a couple of de decades ago. Mm. So we can apply these, the best practices to SWIG. And in addition, uh, because SWIG is about security, there are some new challenges, new problems uh, that have arise. Uh, a good example is something called configuration drift, mm. which is when the configurations of the security devices have not uh, stay updated to meet security compliance, mm -hmm. or someone made a change, either intentional or unintentional. Mm -hmm. um, we can apply best practices in DXNet apps, which is around this area called network configuration management to SWIG to make sure that these security configurations are up to date and matches the company's policies. I see. So you, you've mentioned DXNet ops a couple of times. Um, tell me a little bit about that and, and what does DXNet ops do for edge networks, you know, these edge deployments that, that's unique? Uh, DX NetApps for networking at the edge provides monitoring of, uh, of network traffic in and out, mm -hmm. uh, provides a means for you to monitor the state of these, these uh, edge routers. Also, uh, as these edge networking uh, infrastructures are evolving to software defined, uh, this is called SD-WAN. Mm -hmm. DX NetApps have also um, been upgraded to be able to monitor these SD-WAN software overlay too. And now with the with the convergence with SWIG, you know we can bring that into the ecosystem and can apply the same best practices to both traditional WAN routers, SD-WAN, and SWIG. Organizationally, so we've talked about SWIG and we've talked about you know more traditional network monitoring. Organizationally, do you see the, the NetOps teams and the security teams working together more now than before? Yes, I, I do see that uh, talking to customers. Uh, so far, there's still, you know, the, the, the network security team, the team that manages firewalls and load balancers and proxies, mm -hmm. are still silo, mm -hmm. uh, but they're still part of the network team. And, and it was okay, has been okay in the past, because the need for edge security hasn't been like this, right? right. Yeah. So now that enterprise know that they have to deploy more SWIG, they have to increase spend in network security, uh, it's very critical that the silo has to be broken so that these network security teams become part of the operational environment. Mm. And when companies adopt this type of integration, they gain not only in a reliable edge network, but they gain operational efficiencies, mm -hmm. cost savings, and, and just mean time to information and resolution. Mm -hmm. So when I think about that convergence of, of SWIG and, and network monitoring, I imagine that Broadcom's pretty uniquely positioned. Like, do you know of anybody else that has those two ingredients the way we do? We are in a very, very unique position. Uh, mm -hmm. The fact that we have a, an outstanding solution in network security in SWIG. And then we have a proven, a three, you know, a solutions that's proven with Fortune 500 companies for the last three decades mm -hmm. in net, net ops or network monitoring. I think the combination of the two uh, gives the industry a truly manageable SWIG solution. So Tim, when I read about Secure Web Gateway or SWIG, a lot of times I see SD-WAN mentioned in the same sentence. What's the connection between the two? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, what we're seeing in the industry is that SWIG, which traditionally has been on-prem, is actually being migrated to the cloud. There's a migration happening. Um, so it's like an NFV, like a yes, network virtual? Yeah. Okay. Basically, the, the on-prem device becomes a virtual device in the cloud. 
Uh, and that's what the industry is called SASE, which is Secure Access, Secure Edge, which is a cloud solution uh, that mimics the on-prem CPE. Now, when you, when you introduce this type of cloud-based architecture, the connection from the on-prem edge mm -hmm. to the cloud is critical. And most of these migrations, they're using SD-WAN. Ah, I see. So what that does is that that SD-WAN tunnel better be working very well. Otherwise, your security functionality mm -hmm. is gone. Right. So, so that's why the conversation around SASE, a, a cloud-based SWIG, uh, inevitably involves SD-WAN. And so for a solution like DX NetApps, mm -hmm. we can monitor SD-WAN also. That's typically like a blind spot for a lot of network teams, right? Yes, I yes. See. So now we can cover the, that blind spot and then we can extend our solution to monitor the cloud-based software, the SASE software, and we can correlate the two so that to make sure that if the SD-WAN tunnel goes down, mm -hmm. we can alert the SASE cloud provider to make sure that they understand something is, something's gone down so that they can repair that before, before they let any more traffic come in. Hey Tim, thanks so much for joining us today. It's honestly exciting to hear about this convergence of security and network monitoring and, and the future vision that you have for our products here at Broadcom. So thanks so much. Thank you.